All right, it was a hard fought matchup, but Southwest Valley eventually pulls away 21 0 over Earlham here tonight. Here now with Evan Zimmerman, big contributor here tonight, especially offensively. Evan, just start off as give us your thoughts on this win for you guys. You know, all, all credit goes to the linemen up front. I couldn't have done it without them. You know, if it's a one on one matchup, I couldn't have done it without them. They're, they're blocking to make it the cutbacks lane, cutback lanes, and then just go from there. And all glory to, goes to God in that, so, too. Certainly, obviously, a rushing tonight for you. Obviously, had the big run there in early in that second half to get you close to almost 200 rushing yards here for tonight. Just kind of uh, speak to your performance tonight. You know, there was just a lot of cutback lanes, I thought, and then they were over suing, and I just cut back lane. And then coach says, after five yards, do whatever I do, it, whether it's bounce out, get another 10 yards, or cut back. And then I just listen to him. And, you know, you can't follow your blocks all the time because eventually they're going to get off blocks, you know, chop block or something like that. So, yes, bounce out or cut back and, and get the yards. Enough, so. mm. Certainly, you know, obviously that first half, going to the locker room with a 7-0 lead at halftime. I just, you know, there are a couple of couple of mistakes here and there. Obviously, the big first drive for you guys, it felt like you guys milked almost the whole entire first quarter yeah. on that first drive, but a, a long fourth down obviously kind of brings an end to that. Just kind of, what are you guys kind of telling your guys? What's going through your mind there as you guys are trying to stick with it there in that first half? You know, we were just saying mostly our defense because our defense is really what put this, the stomp on them for in the second quarter, or third quarter, second half, third quarter. And, yeah, just a lot of not good plays for them and then get the ball back and has opportunities to for us to get the ball back and make touchdowns again so that's what they're saying pretty much Certainly, and obviously you mentioned that defense, that front seven for you guys. Obviously, yeah. Connelly Jacobs, Robbie Barnes, Devin Greenwald also made some nice presence current, felt. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, obviously, just kind of uh, speak to your defense, what they're able to do here tonight. Yeah, um, you know, we at the second half we were saying they're cutting us and then they're slanting on us and everything for blocking. So we just and they're cutting up too and uh, the. I think it was, yeah, second quarter in the last two plays, they're going to get tricky on us, and they got 15 yards. So we knew that they were going to do some trick stuff because they couldn't run run up the middle on us. They'd either bounce it out or do some trick plays. So we decided to be ready for anything and more passes, anything. And we were ready for that, and obviously it showed. So Certainly, you know, they start off the second half. They do the onside kick. They get it. But then defense yeah, comes true. up with a big that. turnover on fourth downs. I mean, how big was that for you guys yeah, that was momentum a big, wise? Yeah, that was a big mental changeover. That was not – yeah, and we needed that for sure because we were down on that uh, onside kick when they got it. And, yeah, it was a big mental change for us when we got the ball back. Certainly, you guys followed up. You have a big almost 60-yard run there that sets up mm -hmm. that second touchdown score. It's kind of what's going through your mind there on that run. Yeah, uh, I just bounced out, and I thought I was going to get a touchdown, but I was kind of mad that I wasn't fast enough to get it, but I got it at the end, so I guess that's what matters. So all, all glory, again, does not go to me. It goes to the linemen and the Lord too, so. Mm -hmm. So then obviously you guys have a pretty deep backfield right now, obviously yeah. as a current Bradley Grants, uh, also you got Rodriguez in there a little bit yeah. as well. Just kind of speak to that back, that really kind of that four headed monster you guys yeah. have right now. So we we like to switch off and on on people. So Isaac runs some quarterback, Eli maybe runs quarterback and then Bradley Lee runs quarterback too. And if I'm tired, Isaac goes in for quarterback. So I get some uh, pass, or not pass, blocking reps in and kind of cool down and then wait for that big run to happen. So we have, we have good four running backs that change a lot, so. So, I mean, kind of how, how big is this win for you guys moving forward? You get another district win, you would three yeah. and one in the district, five and one on the season. I mean, how big is this for you guys? I feel like that it's a big thing that we shut them out in 21-0. That's a big thing when they have zero points on the board. That just proves that our defense is, I, I would say, top 10 in the state for state, or class state football. And it shows for the future going forward that we have confidence in ourselves on defense and offense both. Awesome. Well, congrats on the win tonight. Yep, thank you. All right, well, Southwest Valley runs away with a 21-0 win here against Earlham here tonight here with head coach Anthony Donahue. And, Coach, just first off, give us your thoughts on this win for your boys here tonight. Very proud. Offensive line, defensive line, they did everything uh, tonight. They were – I kept saying all week long it's a mentality when you play a team like this. It's two mirrored teams. Um, you know, we talked about how special teams and they got that onside kick really early and kind of you felt that momentum start to shift. And, and we talk about when bad stuff happens, how do you bounce back? And we get a stop on defense, come right back down and score a touchdown. Um, can't say enough about, you know, Isaac Curran, Bradley Grants, Eli Rodriguez, and then Evan Timmerman running the ball. Um, all of them did really well. Um, and the offensive and defensive lines, again, I can't say enough about it. Certainly, obviously, you mentioned Timmerman there. I had almost a 200-yard performance after that big run there. He had 
in that second half. Just kind of uh, speak to his performance and really kind of trying to start to kick it in gear there, especially there in that second half. That, that kid has a fire. He has a fire and he wants to be great. Uh, he wants to be great at everything. And uh, you can see that. And that's, again, the, a credit to his you know maturity over the last two years, sitting behind Brennan, seeing some stuff, um, and then taking it and taking the ball and running with it, literally. Um, and he's doing just a great job, you know. And again, I, I told the coaching staff, there's one other game in seven years where we had no passing yards. We had no passing yards tonight. So again, that's that's a mentality. We don't have to. And uh, when you're getting, like you said, you know, 200 yards from your quarterback and a, and a bunch from your running backs, it's a good night. Certainly. I mean, you know, obviously you go into the locker rooms at halftime 7-0. I mean, what's kind of the message to your guys there? Obviously, it's still a little bit of a close game. A couple of mistakes here. They might have stole out, of the, especially that first drive there. You guys look like you're really building something there. And obviously, the foster gives you a longer fourth down and can't quite convert. What's the message to your guys there after that drive? It was exactly that. It was win first down and stop putting yourself behind the chains and finish. You got to finish. Um, with, you know, with those kinds of drives, you want to end in points. But uh, bigger than that, we understood that in the second quarter, we took almost the entire second quarter. They, you know, Earlham only touched the ball with about, you know, two minutes, three minutes left, and then they had to press something they, they didn't want to do. We did the same thing towards the third quarter and the fourth quarter where we just ate up a whole bunch of, of clock, and, and then you make a team, uh, you know, play behind the chains, and they're trying to catch up, and they're trying to throw, and, and again, that was our message was win first down, get ahead of the chains, continue to get first downs, put together those eight to 12 minute drives, um, but finish with points. Certainly, and on that defensive side, obviously you mentioned how little that Durham was able to touch the ball there in that second quarter. Also, the third quarter, I believe they only had about maybe 11 or 12 plays there in the second half in total. And they kind of speak to your defensive performance tonight. Uh, you know, two four and outs. You know, when they they they've got fourth and and um, you know one and and fourth two fourth and ones, and we get stops. Um, the fumbles, you know, recoveries that we were able to have, the big time interceptions at key moments. Um, and again, that only happens when you're able to force that team. You win first down and you force them into that second and nine, third and six, and then you can start to go. So again, that defensive line, we talked all week long to Robbie Barnes, Devin Greenwald, Theron Mullen, and, and Dylan Inman about the front side has to hold their water and be able to take those double and triple teams that Earlham does. And on the back side, we got we to gotta follow those guards, see your keys, and, and not be watching, but feeling and get after it. Certainly, you know, and there was a, a lot of times where the chains had to come out and get some measurements tonight. I really kind of felt like one of those games where it was, you guys were kind of fighting there for every yard there. If that, out of the, I saw those couple of big runs there from Timberman late. I felt like you guys were really just kind of, you know, a typical, you guys are grinding for every yard tonight. Yeah, and that's that's Isaac. That's all our running backs. That's Evan. All those guys do such a good job of, of you know, yards after contact. You know, you hit someone like Isaac and Evan and all those kids, you know that, you know, we, we preach all the time, you know, you're going to run for four and lean for five. And we are so comfortable you know, going five yards at a, at a time all the way down the field and eating all that time and then playing really good defense on the back end. So just an overall great performance. So an obvious another big district win for you guys. You guys went to five one of the three and one of district play now for you guys. Just I kind of speak to you for you. I kind of how big this is for you guys as you move forward through these past through these final three weeks. They've got they've got big aspirations as a team and rightfully so. You know I, I said that that loss earlier in the week. I said the loss to HST doesn't sting so bad seeing who they are. But we are so excited you know to hopefully get a chance to play them again. We did the same thing where we ran the ball extremely well against HST and stalled out five times within the thirty. So we're a team with high aspirations aspirations but we understand that you've got to go one and oh we've got a tough test against Riverside coming up um, and you finish with Mount Air so um, unless you want to go halfway across the state as a you know a three or four seed um, you want to host that's kind of your goal so I told them that we've got um, you know we got to go one and oh every week is a playoff week for us now and and if you've got high aspirations you need to go one and oh awesome that's on the win coach thank you